This morning, a 12-year-old boy with autism faced a hearing before a Macomb County judge. He's accused of assaulting a teacher by spraying hand sanitizer in her face. But his parents say he didn't intentionally hurt anyone and due to special needs should not have been left without the close supervision of a paraprofessional or have access to hand sanitizer. The judge adjourned the hearing until a competency evaluation could be done. Only on 7, we are taking an in-depth look at the issue the parents say led to this, a shortage of paraprofessionals. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell has a look at how it has impacted not just this family, but schools across the state. In schools across our state, there is a position that many people don't know about, paraprofessionals. I worked as a paraprofessional in college helping students with special needs manage their behavior, focus, or their basic needs. Now, after an incident at Warren Woods Middle School, one family says it's clear the shortage of paraprofessionals is impacting far more than just students. Meet Alan Jr., or AJ. You can see him get set up with his Elmo doll, tablet, book, and Play-Doh. His parents, Alan and Janelle Washington, then chatted with him to make him comfortable as he sat with their attorney and a 7 Action News crew. What's my name? AJ, when asked his mom's name showed, he has a sense of humor. I'm my cat boy. <laughs> <laughs> I've been blessed to have him and to support him and grow. It's taught me so much about myself, about being a father, uh, and it's taught me patience. AJ has autism. His parents say in January he had an incident at Warren Woods Middle School. The 12 year old sprayed hand sanitizer at himself and others. The school said the sanitizer would be kept away. But two days later, his parents say he was walking down the hall between classes and sprayed sanitizer, hitting a teacher in the eye. That teacher filed a police report, and A.J. was criminally charged with assault. I was floored. The emotional toll that it's been for me personally as a mother, it's been a lot. A.J.'s parents say his IEP says he should be supervised by a paraprofessional. He also was not supposed to be in the hall during passing hour and should not have had access to the sanitizer. AJ's attorney, Terry Johnson, says the school failed him. Unfortunately, there was no peer pro there. Uh, this, the transition just took place literally with everyone else around. Um, I, I, I think they need to be held accountable. Why do you think he didn't have one? Short staff. The Warren Woods Public Schools superintendent told me she can't comment on an individual incident due to student privacy laws. But when it comes to the shortage of paraprofessionals, said, while Warren Woods is currently fully staffed, I understand that this is a pressing issue that affects the daily operations of schools across the state. Since 2018, paraprofessionals who provide assistance to students with special needs have been on the Michigan Department of Education's critical shortage list. You know, with the budgets our schools are given, you know, we often can't compete wage-wise. Parapros make about 15 bucks an hour. Robert McCann, the executive director of the K-12 Alliance of Michigan, says it's a challenge for schools statewide. What happens if they don't have enough parapros when we have these laws that require that services be provided? I mean, schools do the best that they can. Uh, laws are written in the sense that, you know, we're in a best case scenario sometimes. Is there a shortage? Absolutely. Um, but that doesn't dismiss the fact that they can't just say, well, we're not going to do it because it's a shortage. The Washington family says this is about student rights. Is it a lot of work? Yes. Is it difficult? Yes. But that was that's what goes with the with the title. What I want is some awareness and true diligence. Um, and what it means to support children with disabilities, specifically children with autism. In Warren, Kim Russell, 7 Action News.